this one. He went inside outside, he played him up, he looked for the gap, and he burst through it. Welcome to the Axis All Areas behind the scenes footage here at Wimble Road for the 70th anniversary of Paul Speedway. Tonight sees the Yarmouth Bloaters name revived as Gary May takes charge of the team that's put together to take on the Paul Pirates side who draft in young Jordan Jenkins from Milton Hall to join the other five Pirates as they entertain the crowd this evening on track. Before that we're going to head inside to the stands where Matt Ford and his team have put together a pop-up museum and Nigel Levy chat to some of the pool legends that have joined us on the day such as Norman Strawn, Mike Cake, Mike Burnham, Neil Middleditch, Ken Middleditch, John Davis to name but a few. They tell us a little bit about what it was like to be a pirate back in their days and some of the exploits that happened on the road as well with them. As always folks, Rerun Productions were present on the day and they have got a double disc DVD set coming out very shortly for you which will contain all of the interviews this afternoon and all of tonight's racing. But for now, here's a little flavour of what happened in the afternoon. Then we'll head out to the pits and have a chat to one or two of the riders before tonight's meeting. Good afternoon again, everybody. If you've just arrived, welcome to our house. Uh, I mentioned earlier on that we've given the silverware a good polish and we've dusted off our photos for you. And I hope that uh, you'll get a chance to have a look around and see some of the memorabilia and some of the many memories. Many of you will remember lots of these photos at the time they were taken and some of you may be looking back thinking, ah, I wonder what it was like back in those days. But if you are wondering what it was like back in those days, we're going to give you the opportunity to uh, relive or find out for yourselves because we've got some excellent guests representing Pool Speedway down the years. I'd like to introduce our first guests, Brian Crutcher and Norman Strawn. I went to work on my bike one day, he said, what are you doing, Norman? I says, got to work on my bike. He says, you're wasting your time, he says. Why do you bother? I said, well, I want to ride again. He said, you won't ride with that hand like you've got. He said, it's impossible. And do you know what? That really upset me. And I made up my mind that I would ride. And I did. Thank you. But I must say, my life meeting Ken Middleditch, Tony Lewis, Terry Small, Alan Kidd. Oh, you know, let's still, go through the Frank Taylor. Barry Briggs yeah. as well. Yes, no, we were, people have been friends for a long time. And you asked me who I thought was great to be a right. Yeah. Everybody, Ken Middleditch. <laughs> It's quite a birthday celebration, it's well, and it's well, it's well, it's well. you were there at the start of it, uh, yeah. and, a, and a legend as far as pool fans will regard you. I loved every minute of it. Every minute I raced here, I loved every minute of it. They rode as a team, and that was the beauty about the pool, about the pool boys. They all rode together. They all, everybody raced together. They all pulled their weight. Round of applause, please, for Ken Middleditch. I'm going to ask to be joined by Mike Cake and Mike Vernham, everyone. I started, yeah, I mean, I, I was only the number eight, so I was in and out of the team. I, I was in when somebody else was out, so to speak. But yeah, I was very much part of the of the of the team at the time. I'm very proud to be so. Yeah. Uh, when I started at Exeter, I used to uh, leave work at um, two o'clock in the afternoon to go down to Exeter with me. Um, I'd been riding grass track beforehand and I'd had quite a bit of, a few injuries so I'd have had six months off. So when my apprenticeship came up, I was called into the um, director's office 
Yeah, and he said to me, he said, you've had all this time off with these injuries. We're not going to pay you the full rate for six months. And one guy broke his leg on the road, and I said, well, what about this guy? And he said, hey, what, hey look, go out looking for trouble, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> so please welcome Pete Smith and Eric Broadbelt. I don't think I could have rode for a better club, better supporters, uh, management, uh, the riders that I rode with, uh, excellent. I mean, there was not uh, a bad part about it at all. Uh, and I can only sing praise for it. Um, going around the outside, which coming from Bellevue, big track. I always thought before I came to pool, it wasn't quite as big, but it was, it was a big track. It was a fast track. And a lot of riders didn't like to go where I went. <laughs> so it made it easy for me. Uh, and it was just uh, the best way around was the outside for me. It was fast. And it's a great feeling when you, you're setting a serve behind the riders and you, you just, I just knew I was going to pass them. Just let them turn and I turn after they turned and round the outside and that was fantastic. <coughs> John Davis. John, good to see you. Um, so I know how much this club means to you and it was quite clear on gala night. Um, it was a very emotional evening for anyone that wasn't there. Uh, and if you weren't, I guarantee that uh, you should buy the DVD from Rerun Productions because it gives you everything bar the calories. Um, you'll enjoy the entire night from start to finish, including uh, Matt's interviews, which I have to say were fantastic, uh, with uh, many of the riders that were present. Uh, as I said, over 20 riders uh, all chipping in on that night. So if you want to uh, see what you missed, uh, and it's just for the princely sum of 10 quid, pick up a DVD which is available, available today. Um, Neil, I've gone off the subject, haven't I, on my advert? Commercial break, yeah. Yeah, commercial break. So uh, I'm not quite sure where I started with that, but... Uh, Thank you for a long time. Yeah, talking about your dad and saying uh, about uh, how proud you are to be here. Yeah, absolutely. As you say, I've done, I've done the whole spectrum, you know, from supporter to, to, to rider to manager. And, you know, many people here, uh, you know, I used to travel on supporters coaches with some of them, so they've all known me since I was a little red-headed brat. But uh, yeah, no, the, the club is, is, is my life, it, it is my life, it's always been my life and uh, will, will remain so and, and I was very proud to bring Dad down tonight. Rode for a lot of years, so I rode with some very, very good riders. I mean, Pete Smith obviously was one of my heroes, God knows why. <laughs> and God bless him, Tony Lewis was um, a big influence on my career and used to look after my frames and keep my frames straight when I kept bending them. And people like Ivan Major, you know, it's a legacy, he's left a massive legacy in Speedway. And when you look at all the riders now and their professionalism, that all stems from Ivan Major. Yeah, of course, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool for me to be here this, this season, particularly to be a part of, you know, everything that, that Matt's doing. And uh, you know, I can't believe how much I've, I've learned about, about the club and everything it's been through. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be back again this year and hopefully I can, I can be here for a long time and uh, yeah, be, be a part of the history myself. Uh, you enjoy it staying with Matt and Helen? Yeah, you know, I enjoy it. At least I got someone to talk to all the time. If there's no Matt or Helen, I got the cat, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and yeah, probably there's uh, Mateusz Czepaniak with me all the time, because we travel together from Poland, and uh, he stays there as well. Uh, we got PlayStation, so it's, it's burning. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Sounds like the, the easy life. Thank you very, very much indeed, everybody, and we're going to see you a little bit later on. Thank you. Josh Grisonic then just before the meeting, bit different tonight, six man teams, looking forward to that? I've, uh, I can't say I've ever ridden in a format like we are tonight, so it'll be an interesting one, that's for sure. And I think Midlow was saying our gates already picked for us, so um, that'll be a little bit different as well. <laughs> Not used to the coin tossing or anything like that, but um, yeah, it should be good. You know, we need to bounce back after last week, so 
you know, Midlow said if there's anything we want to try tonight, give it a go. And obviously a win is important, even though we're not in the league, it's, it's still important for us as a team. So, yeah, I think it should be good. Now, I think even though the results haven't gone the way we'd have liked them to have gone, the camp is really pulling together, aren't they? There is a good feeling within this camp. Yeah, that's right. You know, we're, we're all pretty, well, we, we weren't happy with the result at Wolves on Monday, but, you know, a few of us boys haven't been there for a while. And I, I think, you know, I, I had one of my better meetings there as well. And um, everyone's still pretty, you know, pretty chilled and, you know, happy in the camp. There's no, no, like, no sort of uncertainty or whatever. So, you know, it's good. It's good. We've still got that sort of good bond going. And, um, yeah, we just need to get the meetings under our belt. A lot of us have been riding, but, you know, there's no, you can practice and practice, but it's nothing like racing. And now we've got a good break in the weather. It's, we should get the meetings under our belt and we should be going hopefully full, full tongue. That's a little bit windy out there tonight. That's not going to affect you in any way on track? No, nah, I don't think so. There's a, there's a fair bit of water down there. So it should be, uh, it should help dry the track out a little bit, to be honest. But, um, Glenn's put some new, a lot of, a lot more dirt down today because it was pretty slick last week and a few of us, we just talked as a, as a team, we weren't happy with that. So Glenn's listened and took that advice on and, and made the track a, a bit better today. So hopefully there'll be a good, good outside line there for us to use and um, yeah, it should be good. Now for those fans that don't know, obviously you're here for Paul, but outside of Paul commitments, uh, you're on the continent racing this year? Yeah, I've, I pretty much go to Poland four days a week and practice and race Sundays. So yeah, I live out of a backpack pretty much for the last month but uh yeah it, you know it's that's what we're here to do and we want to we want to race and we want to we need to go and practice and practice is important so um <laughs> so yeah we we sort of once the season starts we're all keen and ready to go but um yeah i've only got here in pol here in poland at the moment so yeah it's it's keeping me busy with being over there for four days a week and and back here for the three so it's good before you go you've just been out on the track uh with all the all the team How's it looking, okay? Yeah, it looks good. Like I said just before, Glenn's put a lot more dirt down and, and uh, you know, that we requested a bit more dirt than last week, so hopefully that'll be good because it's the first meeting we seem to do all right and then it was a little bit slicker last week, which we all sort of want that dirt on the outside. I know Kilderman except, like, aside, he was he was good, good last week, but, you know, the rest of us didn't really have a good one. So we need to make that right this week. All right, well, uh, have a great night. Stay safe, ride fast. We'll catch you later. Yeah, no worries, thank you.
It was all right with somebody else riding the bike. <laughs> looked a bit slippery out there. Yeah, yeah, looked a little bit uh, slippery to start with, but uh, once it turned over, I suppose it's, it's a lot better. Slightly different bikes to what you are used to, but oh, yeah. uh, hey, it's nice to be out there in front of the crowd, hey? Yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Yeah. And you have a good night? Yeah, yeah lovely. Yeah. Great, yeah. Great yeah. to see you down here this afternoon. Thanks so much. Yeah. so much for your time and force me away. Okay, thank you. No problem. We're halfway through the match. You are eight points down at the moment. How does it feel? How are the guys? Yeah, they're fine. You know, and we just got to get sorted out with uh, sorted out with our gate in, and then uh, concentrate what we're doing, and then we'll be away. Okay. Do you think you can pull this one back? Hopefully, we can do. If we can start gating, yeah, it'll be all right. There's a good atmosphere here tonight, isn't there? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, now for this meeting, and everything. A lot of the old riders about here. You know, it's very good. Yeah. And you want to get one over Neil tonight, don't you? Wow. I, li I like to bring my own team here. <laughs> Enjoy your night, Gary. We'll speak to you later. Thank you very much. Bye bye. We're joined now by Alfie Botel of the Yarmouth Bloaters tonight. Alfie, how are you finding it out there? Yeah, we're um, having a good night so far. Uh, in the first one, my throttle one wound, so that scared me a bit. But no, the next one, I beat a, a Polish lad, so he's got a long name. So I don't know who he is, but he seems pretty good. How do you find it compared to the championship level? Obviously, you're up against some, some interesting poles out there. They're pretty quick on this track. Yeah, um, well, it's all good. It's all good experience and uh, just sort of take each race as, it's, as it is and um, just do my best. Now, we saw you before the season started on the island where you did some practice with the GB Young Lions. Um, how have you found your season so far? 
Uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been really good. To be fair, uh, I've had a few ups there. Broke two ribs on Sunday, um, so that weren't a good uh, good meeting. But other than that, it's been a bit up and down, but it's all good. You feeling okay? Yeah, just about. It's got, not hampering you tonight, is it? I uh, got some duct tape on it, so it should be right. Speedway riders, folks. This is <laughs> Speedway riders. Now, uh, Alfie, you are racing in the championship this season. Normally, you're in the uh, National League as well, but not this year. But are you ready for that as well? Yeah, I'm um, all ready for National League. I just, uh, unfortunately, ain't got a spot. So, uh, hopefully, I get a phone call sooner or later. So, there we go, folks. Um, promoters out there, if you're needing a rider in the National League, Alfie Botel is ready to come. Alfie, have a great night tonight. Stay safe, ride yeah. fast, and enjoy yourself, yeah? Thank you, mate. Cheers. Neil Middle Ditch then at the uh, interval stage. Neil, you're well in front now. Good feeling in the camp. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's not a lot hanging on this meeting tonight. And I said to the boys before the meeting, you know, if you want, if you want to try some things, you know, now's the time to do it. And you know, Linus, who's been having a bit of trouble getting the setups, changed a bit in that last ride and then looked a lot, lot better. Hey, you were here during the uh, the afternoon museum. It was fantastic to see your dad here as well. Um, smiling away, he, he really took it all in, didn't he? Yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, you know, I brought him in, and when the crowd sort of stood up and applauded him, I said, they're, they're cheering you, and he sort of went, oh, really? You know, and, and he, re he really did enjoy himself. Yeah, it was, it was great, and it's so nice. People were so kind to him. And, of course, you've been here with John Davis. You may run many laps around here, Rimball Road with John Davis as well. It's got to bring back those memories for you as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot, lot of faces here today. I haven't seen for a long time. Guys I'd raced against and watched. And as you say, John and I, we, you know, we started our careers. You know, John was a little bit older than me, but, you know, we raced together for, for, at pool and raced against each other and toured Australia together in the England team. And, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's good, good to see the old faces. Now, for those people that wasn't here this afternoon and you got asked that question about the Pirates' current team and our run of form at the moment, just for those fans at home, just reiterate the fact that they don't have to worry, isn't that right? No, I mean, it, it, it's early days yet. We've had three meetings and, and uh, yeah, lost at home to Swindon, which was a bit of a shock even to me, to be fair. But, but um, you know, Wolverhampton took a defeat there, but that's, that's a tricky track to go to. Three meetings don't make a season. Um, it's a long, long way to go. And, and my boys are still trying to find the right setups. And as I said earlier, tonight's a night to try those things out. They're all, they're all smiling there, they're enjoying themselves, they're having fun on the track, but they mean business as well. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, you, every, every race you go out to race, whether it's a friendly or whatever. And, but, you know, I just said to the boys, just get, get, get things going right. Don't, you know, don't put your neck on the line, but just enjoy the meeting and enjoy the occasion. Right, well, you enjoy it as well, Neil. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks ever Thank so you. much for your Cheers. time. Have a good night. No problems. We are here tonight to, to uh, pay tribute to Reg Craven, Johnny Thompson, Malcolm Flood, and Kevin Holden, those four riders that uh, were unfortunately and tragically killed in their prime, all of them uh, in their early years. And we have a wreath for each of those riders which will be laid by our veterans. Norman Strawn will be laying a wreath on memory of Reg Craven. Mike Cake will lay a wreath on behalf of Johnny Thompson. Pete Smith will be laying a wreath to commemorate Malcolm Flood and Eric Broadbelt will lay one for Kevin Holden. Knowing the, the man who held the mic on that night who has great gifts of fans that Kevin had passed away on the track as a result of his injury. Kevin was just aged 26 at that time. And I'd ask you now to suspend and we'll have one minute's applause for Reg Craven, Johnny Thompson, Malcolm Flood and Kevin Holden. A new visitor to the Wimbledon Road circuit then is Jordan Jenkins. Jordan, 
How are you enjoying it out there tonight on Wimborne Road? Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I was obviously a bit nervous at the beginning. Never actually like raced on this level before, but yeah, I just need to make some better starts and I'll be up there mixing it. So yeah. Not that many people get to ride this track each year, so uh, you, you got to be feeling a bit of a buzz when you're on your way down here. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Like um, Matt had contacted the Mildenhall promotion during the, uh, a couple of weeks ago, asking if I was up for riding, and I just jumped at the chance because I knew what good lineup Paul had and obviously I knew they were going to put a good lineup together and I just wanted to come here ride a new track and yeah it's a great track I love it. They had a fantastic season last season you really went up to the main body of the team in the National League this year you're with both uh, Mildenhall and Cradley because Cradley in the uh, trophy as well so looking forward to that? Yeah it's a real busy year but just yeah just love riding my bike so more the better um, especially with Mildenhall being captain it's just a great opportunity for me to further my career and with everyone helping me out in both Cradley and Mildenhall and obviously having the opportunities like this is just going to improve me as a rider. And you said that about helping you out, have you got some good backers this year? Yeah I've got uh, all time all time alarm, um, Gab Racing, uh, Travel Plus. Yeah, so it's good big to ones. have some good backers in your camp as well. Yeah also Manchet's big recovery company, uh, yeah thanks to them all for helping some me out. Some other matches coming up, you've got the Isle of Wight next week of course going to the Isle of Wight, big track fast track but yeah looking forward to it yeah i've got a real busy week that week i've got isle of wight thursday plymouth friday mildenhall sunday wolverhampton monday rye house tuesday and birmingham wednesday so yeah it's a busy week to build up to but yeah take a look into that lens all the fans watching you at home with the sgb side what do you got to say for them that come and pay their money to see your race oh just thank you for everyone's support uh, last season and hopefully it'll carry on this season see what happens thank you have a good night jordan stay safe ride fast thank you